Michael Mann's 1995 crime thriller Heat looks set to receive an exciting sequel in the form of Heat 2. For now though, little is known regarding Heat 2 story and cast. Breaking his silence on casting rumors, Austin Butler refrained from confirming a Heat 2 role in 2023, despite the reports making viewers more excited about the Heat sequel. Heat is about thief Neil McCauley, Robert De Niro, and his attempt to complete one more heist before retirement while under a surveillance operation led by Lt. Vincent Hanna, Al Pacino. Heat 2 will act as a sequel and prequel to Heat, with the events taking place before and after Macaulay's bank heist while also telling the story of Lt. Hanna. Whether the actors will reprise their roles is unknown, given that there is no release date for Heat 2 and a lack of specific details on casting and filming dates. While the wait for Heat 2 continues with limited public information, the buzz around Michael Mann's latest project highlights its potential to rival the impact of an acclaimed thriller he directed in 2004. Michael Mann's movies after Collateral have struggled. Mann's 1995 crime thriller Collateral made $220 million at the box office. Collateral is one of Michael Mann's most popular movies and is the story of Max, Jamie Foxx, a taxi driver, who discovers his passenger Vincent, Tom Cruise, is a renowned assassin on a mission he must stop. After Collateral's huge box office debut in 2004 and its many award nominations, Mann's films have not been nearly as big of a hit. It's unclear whether that's because of production issues, bad critical reception, or another issue entirely. The Rotten Tomato scores of Michael Mann's films show that his most highly rated movies were earlier in his career, with Heat being one of his best, both commercially and critically. That is not to say that he hasn't had hits since, at least where the box office is concerned, Public Enemies made a considerable amount, even if it wasn't regarded as one of Mann's best works by critics. However, putting commercial success aside, Mann hasn't topped Heat or Collateral, but he might do it with the upcoming Heat sequel. Heat 2 is exactly what Michael Mann has been missing. Considering how Heat ends, seeing the aftermath in a sequel will be interesting. The return of Heat is what Michael Mann needs to bring back his spark as a director. Heat had interesting character dynamics with Al Pacino and Robert De Niro's characters and their mutual respect for each other, despite the jobs they had. The ending of Heat also leaves more stories to be told by Mann, especially for Vincent Hanna, who could be younger or older in Heat 2. If Mann brings back the things that made Heat and Collateral so great, like the nighttime settings and the everyman-versus-villain dynamic, then there is no doubt that Heat 2 will be successful.